Hello and welcome back to Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness with me Matthew Caddies, aka Puggy. So today we are going to take on the Pyrite Colosseum. And yes, this is um less almost the same than um, how we did it in Colosseum. <clears throat> the difference is um well we do get um, a TM. That's all really, and some more money. But I might as well cover it in this video, just to show how the Colosseums work in the game. So yeah, because they are still in the game, true the battle mode from Colosseum is not available. Or at least not um, as it was in Colosseum. But Colosseums in the main story, they still exist. So yeah, so first up I am going to send out both my, um, both Ruth and uh, Prissy to fight um, this Teddy Ursa. <clears throat> and it's a good thing I did take on the Pirate Coliseum first because all of the Pokemon around here are around my level, so yeah. And oh boy, um, this one has a Teddy Ursa. Um, and a Smoochum who is apparently, well, literally oblivious to um, Prissy's advances. Yes, seriously. Oh well, and I might well have to switch here. Yeah, unless I have a few full heals, which I might do. I don't know, uh, but uh, there you go. So let's see. I have a burn heal. I only have one full heal. I did want to wait until later, but never mind. I'll use it now. And shockwave, most definitely. I may not be able to do anything with uh, Attract, but I can certainly try and do that. Powder Snow. Yeah. That was the thing that froze uh, poor Ruth. Yeah, seriously. I hope I don't get frozen again in this fight. I said in this fight, not in this Colosseum. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, um, and this opponent has four Pokemon. <clears throat> It is also nice to hear some of the music from Colosseum. I know, I know that uh, the Pyrite theme from Colosseum is in this game, and most of the other themes from Colosseum do make a return, but uh, the battle themes, except in Colosseums, do not. For example, here, in, only in the Colosseums here do we hear the um, um, Rival, I don't know if you can call it rival battle music, but certainly the battle music that you heard quite a bit in Colosseum um, here in the in XD inside the Colosseums, not just this one. And apparently she's resorted to using Pichus. Okay, so um, okay, so I may want to switch here because um, I don't have any offensive moves with Prissy at the moment. That would be able to deal with the um, problem of two electric types. Yeah, because um, Shockwave would be seriously nerfed by two pea shoes. Anyway, that being said, oh, they also know Tail Whip, which is not good for um, Trevil's defense there, but there we go. Apparently, they were also going for. Um, thing. And apparently, she likes being defensive, does. Um, our opponent here. Well, so be it. I'm going to use uh, uh, Giga Drain and Dig. So, Dig goes first. Well done there, Ruth. Well done. So, down goes Pichu. Well, one of the Pichus. I don't get much experience for it, though. Seriously. Okay, so Giga Drain. Okay, well, I have to be careful now. I only have 5 PP with this move, for goodness sake. Uh, Charm's gonna drop my uh, attack like a rock here. Seriously. Okay, so... I don't want to use Fake Out. In fact, I don't think I can use Fake Out. Um, and I want to be careful of the fact they might have Static as an ability. I don't know, does Pichu actually have Static as an ability? I don't know. I am not that big an aficionado of the Pokemon games. Well, I stopped playing after, I think, X and Y. Just because of the stupid Mega Evolution, seriously. If you're gonna go OP with the whole thing and steamroll your opponents, then yeah. Um, Mega Evolutions pretty much do it. 
Uh, the annoying thing is they also were kind of was like DG delusions in Digimon. Yes, because in Digimon, when um, Digimon Digivolve, and I think this is also in the games, I don't know, I've, I've only played a bit of um, Cyber Sleuth um, on my PS4. And apparently we have a sailor here before I go on. Yes, by the name of Mona. Mona? Was he Mona? I don't even know. Well, anyway, he's going to throw out a total dial at a Chikorita. Okay, you're going with Johto starters, are you? Well, so be it. I wonder if you have a Cyndaquil in there. I already had... And um, got one uh, Johto starter Pokemon in Colosseum, so okay. So he has three. I'm guessing the third one will be Cyndaquil. Okay, well, Poison Fang I can use on Chikorita. So yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, there we go. And Shockwave. Well, that's a no brainer. On Totodile. Get rid of that. Um, Donald Duck sounding Pokemon. Seriously. It sounds like Donald Duck does Totodile. I don't know why. Um, seriously. It sounds like Donald Duck. And no, I don't think Forky's got Tony and Selmo to voice uh, Totodile. Unless um, they were able to go to LA because they were based in New York. But, um, which I guess be possible now, but not so back then. But uh, Shikorita is down! And so, uh, that being said... Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, his next Pokemon is indeed Cyndaquil! Yep, he's going with all the Johto starters. This is uh, something to behold here as well. Another thing of note... Mirabee can pop up in the Colosseums. I don't know if he does in this recording, but if he does, then that will be noteworthy, I think. Especially since he will have some of the Shadow Pokemon that you missed. Yes, I did miss a fair few, including that Ralts. Seriously, so uh, let's send Prissy back because I don't want her to be doing the equivalent of stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting yourself! Oh, never mind that. Uh, quick attack! Ouch, poor Aqua! Well, I can use <clears throat> something for him. Right, down goes Tortodial! And, um, Aqua, okay. Uh, water Pulse, yes. Definitely Water Pulse. Okay, that's good. And I, I love how Cyndaquil just waddles back over. That is very, very cute. Seriously. That is really cute for a, for a blind fire mouse. And yes, Cyndaquil is actually a mouse. Seriously, according to its Pokédex entry, it is a fire mouse Pokémon. That even makes it more cute. Seriously. Anyway, your golden trio... Yeah, well, um, I got my um, Jotel starter as a Quillava, so I guess I kind of cheated as Wes. Anyway, that being said, we're on to the semi-finals, so who's this guy? Raffert, and what does he have as his Pokemon then? Well, let's see. Okay, Fuchiena and Taylor. Okay, so he has an unrolled Ruth or something like that. Yes. Well, uh, this will be easy picking for PC with Taylor. Maybe not so for my um, uh, Mighty Enna because of the fact that it's part of the thing. So, yeah. So, Shockwave most definitely on Taylor. Um, I probably do want to switch out. So, let's see. Who would be good? Probably not um, a bug type. So, yeah. Um, I think I will use Poison Fang. And he's using Double Team! Oh no, the Scourge of Justice is 
coming back to me. Back from Coliseum, seriously. Are you gonna spam it like Justy did? In fact, speaking of Justy, I think he's still in the free gym in this game. Um, we'll find out when we go back to, um, you know, I say to Fenac City a little later on. Which I think I do do after I've visited the Pyrite Coliseum. Well, let's proceed off Taylor. Okay, so who's next? Duskull, okay. So, um, a ghost type. I can deal with that. Yawn is gonna be a right problem. Actually, no, it's not. Because you can wake up your Pokemon by using Call. Seriously. That still is the case in this game, so yeah. So, no brainer. Bite on Duskull! Before um, you go to. I don't know if it, I didn't even pay attention to um, where uh, Pugiana used Yawn, so. There we go. So, um, electric. No, 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 no. Shockwave. Okay, down goes Poochyena, and um, Preecy will end up sleeping, I think, soon. Well, that's a no brainer with the yawn. Okay, so he has a Ralts! It's not the same Ralts that was. No, it's not. No. Unless he made a deal with Mira B. I don't think so. So, I'm gonna wake up, um, Preecy. And then I will, um, um, there we go. Yeah, who needs freaking awakenings, am I right? Yeah. Seriously, the whole call command is uh, still OP in this game. Seriously. It was in Coliseum, it is most definitely in XD as well. Again, and this is also the last put, uh, um, last Ori game anyway, so yeah. yeah. We won't have any more Ori games, which is a shame really. The next console Pokemon RPG that we get was Sword and Shield, and that is beset by major problems regarding the regarding what Pokemon you can get, so I don't know, man. Anyway, Raffert is done. Um, okay, start doing a sand angel or something, mate. I don't know. Don't know what's with that uh, thing. Anyway, the grand final. And who do we have to face? I doubt it's Mirror B. Nope, that doesn't look like Mirror B. That's uh, unless um, he ditched the afro and started. Well, I'm not even going to go there. Anyway, cheers to Jupex. She, um. As a Minon and a Snubble. So, yes. Okay, so... Electric type and normal type. So, yeah. Okay, so... I can use D with Ruth. I know that. Minon. I don't know about Snubble. Maybe if I had... Oh, so we have a level playing field, do we? Oh, so be it. I'm going to use Shockwave on Snubble. And dig on mine, and why not? Okay, Spark, that might be trouble. Well, yes it is, but it didn't do as much damage as I thought. So, Shockwave on Snubble, because I didn't use it on, um, on that um, uh, mine in there, did I? Right. Unfortunately, it also knows counter, which is a good thing I'm not using any physical moves then. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, you're going for Prissy. You'll have to, because... Um, oh, dear. Paralysis. Don't know if I have any par uh, Paralyzed Hills. I think I do! Uh, but I could be wrong there. So, dig there. Shockwave. Uh, I can deal with the slowness and the equivalent of um, not being able to attack for a few turns. Smelling salt, okay, I've not seen that move before. And that did some damage, man! Seriously, and apparently he'll be in paralysis. Okay, I think, um, Snowball, you just did me a favor there, mate. Serious, although Spark could, well, indeed it does kill a uh, pretty. Okay, well, um, Snowball did me a favor, and, um,. Well, <laughs> um, 
Uh, Minen? He was killed me! Okay, well, in that case, I'm gonna spam bite on you. Smelling salt again. Okay, that did some damage to Prissy. Did some decent damage to Ruth there as well. Okay. Uh, Giga Drain and um, Bite. You get the gist. And of course, mine is quicker. It's made of the same vein as Pikachu, for God's sake! Uh, excuse my language. Uh, but there you go. But um, there goes Snowball. And indeed, um, yeah. Okay. You wait until now to bring out Plusle. What is with the AI on these Pokemon trainers? Seriously? Uh, but I guess you'll have to do it without um, um, Miner now because that one's going down. Okay, we got some decent um, experience on that one. Okay, well, um, I may want to use a super potion on Ruth. He's been a right trooper as Ruth as she has. Uh, why not? Dig and shockwave. Well, that's a given. Yeah, it has withstood quite a bit as uh, Ruth. So why not? Let's uh, indeed reward it with some heals uh, there. Shockwave. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so dig! And that did some right damage. Probably don't want to use it again now because low HP and everything. And I'm not a believer in prolonging battles if I can help it. Oh, that can, that can be said for the uh, uh, CPU, of course, but that's that. Anyway, we have cleared the Pyrite Coliseum. And indeed, we can now um, get our reward. Which is a pretty good TM, actually. Besides all the Poké Dollars we will we'll get from the um, from this Coliseum. So let's see what TM we get. Yeah. We get TM31, which is Brick Break. Yes. And I am going to teach Brick Break to my... Um, to Cuddles. Seriously. I'm going to give it to Cuddles. Because... It needs a um, more offensive move than just... Uh, although, having said that, uh, Return is a decent move, but... Yeah, I'm going to teach it to Cuddles. It will be very good when it becomes an Ursaring. So, let's see. Which move do I want to remove? Return? No, that, that actually does well there. So, I think... I'm not sure if I want to get... Do I want to get rid of... Uh, yeah, I'll get rid of Refresh. So, yes. And it has now learned Brick Break. So on the next episode, who knows? I'll see you then. Goodbye.